And these are our entries coming at us now for our first heat of the evening. Out in front sporting the number one saddle pad. It's George, uh, Google Me. Google Me, uh, owned by the Shadow Play Racing Stables. And being driven this evening by Mr. Tyler, Soldier Boy Lopes. And on the outside, sporting the number two saddle pad, the new, another new pony, Rock On. Rock On is out of the Hang'em High Stables and being driven this evening by Mr. Zeno Cooper. This is for the 110 and 1 and slower division time bar. Okay, our star card has now collected our two entries for our first team of the evening. Uh, rock on off the pace a bit. Google me up behind the star car and it is a start, a staggered start, a big stagger, but a start nonetheless. And out of the first turn they come, it is Google Me with Tyler Lopes in the bike and a very good jump at the start. Fine looking young pony, uh, just coming into Bermuda. Here comes Rock On now, pacing, but way off of the pace, off by about 30, as Google Me makes his way down the backtrack for the first time this evening, heading down into Hingham High Turn. Again, these are very uh, young ponies, two year olds. Both are brand new to the island. Google Me now coming out of the fourth turn as Rock On makes his way into Hang'em High Turn. There goes Google Me with Tyler Loops in the bike one more time heading into Pettit Turn. Out of the fourth turn comes Rock On with Zeno Cooper in the bike. Down the back stretch for the final time in this heat is Google Me pacing very well. Rock On outmatched in this heat as Google Me got a very good jump at the start. Rock on caught sleeping out of the fourth turn and down the home stretch all by himself from wire to wire. It is Google Me. In the meantime, Rock on heading around Paddock Turn. Um, I'm sorry, Hang 'em High Turn. And now coming out of the fourth turn and down the home stretch. And there he is, Rock On. First time on the track here, Rock On. These are our entries for heat number two of the evening out in front, supporting the number one saddle pad, L.A. Ermatime. L.A. Ermatime owned and driven this evening by Mr. David Lopes. With the number two saddle pad, it's Something Royal, out of the, uh, owned by Mr. Edward Roke, and being driven this evening by Miss Andrea Westerfield. And on the outside, supporting the number three saddle pad, War Machine, War Machine, owned by Mr. Daniel Greenslade and being driven this evening by the young master, Mr. Kaiwan Waldron. This is for the 110 and 1 and slower division time bar. Our star car has now collected our three entries for this heat number two of the afternoon. Three ponies up and three ponies out. Let's sort them out as they come out of the first turn. Ale Ermatan, the veteran mayor, leading the youngsters out of the first turn. It's something royal who settles in behind off by a quarter. Pushing the issue from behind is War Machine as they head into Paddock Turn. And down the back stretch they go. L.A. Ermatime still out in front, setting the pace up over something royal. War Machine still studying from behind and pushing the issue. One, two, and three running as they started as they head around Hingham High Turn. David Lopes with L.A. Ermatime, a longtime veteran mayor here at the track, leading the youngsters into the second round as they head across us here one more time. Ali time still under pressure from the youngsters. Something Royal with War Machine now taking the people on the outside. First to make a move around Paddock Turn and down the back stretch they go. Ali time still out in front but here comes War Machine. Something Royal left behind by two as they head around Hingham High Turn. But up front, it's War Machine making his way around L.A. Irma time, coming out of the fourth turn, rocking and rolling. War Machine walking away from L.A. Irma time and something royal as they come through the finish line. Front sported the number one saddle pad, a touch of red, owned by Mr. Arnold Manders, being driven this evening by Mr. Ryan Manders. And on the outside, sporting the number two saddle pad, Custard the Dragon, Custard the Dragon, Owned and driven this evening by Mr. Andy Stoner. This is for the 105 to 106 division time bar. Yeah, Star Car has now collected our three, uh, two entries for this heat number three. Two ponies up and two ponies out. Best start of this evening so far. Out of the first turn they come. It is 
a touch of red with M Ryan Mendes in the bike leading Custard the Dragon across us here for the first time. Looking very well. Both ponies pacing very well. Heading into paddock turn. And down the back stretch they go. A touch of red. Still under pressure from behind as Custard the Dragon takes the people on the outside. They head across Hingham High turn. A touch of red. Still out in front of Costa the Dragon as they come out of the fourth turn one more time. Young Ryan Mendes, they call me Fluffy. With a touch of red. Still under pressure, Costa the Dragon right there in the mix as they head around Paddock Turn. And down the back stretch for the final time in this heat. A touch of red still out in front, but Costa the Dragon turning the cylinders on. Shaking the reins out of heap answers. As they go around Hingham High Turn, it's now Custard the Dragon legging out in front of a touch of red as they come out of the Simsfield Turn. And down the home stretch, it's Custard the Dragon with a touch of red. Here come our entries for heat number four of the evening. Out in front sporting the number one saddle pad, it's Park Ranger, another brand new pony to the track, uh, owned by Mr. Uh, Edward Roke. And being driven this evening by Miss Andrea Westerfield with a number two saddle pad sporting the orange socks. Hey, you guys have to go up. Okay. I okay. Having a bit of an issue there at the start um, is G.I. Jane, owned by Mr. Derek Seymour, and being driven this evening by Mr. Maurice Rayner. And on the outside, Sporting the number three saddle pad, it's Major Medical out of the Hang of High Stables and being driven this evening by our rookie driver, Mr. Kelsey Durham. They call him Scooby-Doo. This is for the 108 and 2 to 110 division time bar. Okay, our star car has now collected all three of our entries for this heat number four of the evening. Three ponies up and three ponies out. Let's sort them out as they come out of the first turn. And it is the Rail Pony Park Ranger picking them up and putting them down for Andrea Westerfield. Out in front being chased down by G.I. Jane. Back two lengths is Major Medical chasing the field along into paddock turn. And down the back stretch they go. Park Ranger looking very well out in front of G.I. Jane by a quarter now as Major Medical struggles to keep up with the front runners. He's off by six. Out of this Simsfield turn they come. Park Ranger rocking and rolling for baby girl Westerfield. But there is G.I. Jane still right there in the mix pushing the issue over the right shoulder. Major Medical dropping off a bit more off by seven as they head into paddock turn and down the backstretch for the final time in this heat. Park Ranger still out in front of G.I. Jane by one full length now as they head around Hang My turn. Major Medical still off the mark, off by eight. Out of the fourth turn. And down the home stretch they come. Park Ranger with G.I. Jane and Major Medical. They finish as they started.